What we're going to be learning now is all about religion in Greek and Rome. Let's listen up. Deep in the heart of Roman times, where Julius Caesar dictates, you'll find the legendary goddesses of mythological days. A goddess named Athena was the daughter of Zeus. And Eris and Apollo. There's Poseidon and Hermes. Then there's Hades. But most of all, there's big ol' Zeus. Big ol' Zeus. Big ol' Zeus. King of all kings, all scary and stuff. He's big ol' Zeus. Big ol' Zeus. Had the throne, the eagle, and the lightning bolt. <laughs> you can learn more than that. Let's try it again. Now this is a story all about mythology, with a special thanks to archaeology. Now this is all about goddesses and gods. Now listen up, y'all, and hold the applause. Here's Odysseus, worked all day, heard he had to find or really far away. This is a story called the Odyssey, in a sacred text in this mythology, it was written by Homer, he was like a ghost. People think he was born on the Mediterranean coast. No one even knows his real date of birth, a philosopher said that he probably never existed on this earth. A couple more facts now, don't you hear Homer's name originated from slave and a hostage, my dear? If anything, I'd say that this guy disappeared into thin air, but the sacred text of the Odyssey, where'd it come from? Where? Zeus pulled up to a mountain called Mount Olympus, his animal was the eagle of the air. He looked at the kingdom, he was finally there to sit on the throne of the Roman time era.